Hi, this is David Farrell with a music video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the basics of the music software Max MSP. Max MSP is a really, really cool piece of software. It gives you lots of options to do lots of fun, creative things with music. You can find Max MSP bundled with the Ableton Live suite, or you can buy it by itself. I really love the software, and so in this video, I want to talk about getting started in Max and some of the basic things that you can do with it. I want to get right into using Max MSP. Max is a piece of software that uses a bunch of things that are called objects to create music. Objects all do different things. There are all these little toys that can do various, various different uh, operations with data or with sound, and you can connect these objects to create your own instruments, to create your own uh, processing modules, to create a whole bunch of different things that you want to do with music. So to create an object in Max, the first thing I'm going to do in my screen is press the letter N. I'm going to click on an open space and I'm going to press the letter N. N brings up this blank object. This is a blank object. It could be any object I want. And once I start typing in letters, Max is going to suggest a bunch of the different objects uh, that it knows. I'm going to use one of the objects that I'm, I'd like to, I like to start with called Make Note. I'm going to type in the name Make Note, and Max will give me a little explanation of what it is. It says Make Note is used to generate a note on and a note off pair. Once I type in Make Note, I can press Enter, and there it is. It's made an object. I've got an object. I've got a start for my max patch. Now that we have an object, we can try to find a little bit more about it. I can select my object and go to Max's help menu and go to here where it says open make note help. If I have an object selected, Max will always route me to that object's help here. I can click on it and Max will open up a patch that explains how the object works. Max's patches are always functional and so you can always look at the help patcher and see something that somebody has already built that uses whatever object you're interested in understanding better. Max help is a super useful tool and so It'll tell us all about make note. Make note generates a note on, note off pair. That's the basic pitch for it. And here we get a little longer explanation. It outputs a MIDI note on message paired with a velocity value followed by a note off message after a specified amount of time. Pretty straightforward stuff there, right? This is just going to help us make sounds for our MIDI instruments. It helps clear, clarify what sorts of information you want to send where, your pitch information, your velocity information, your duration in milliseconds, and it shows the pairing with another object, note out. This is a really common pairing, make note with note out. Note out will send the MIDI data out to a MIDI instrument, whether it's one built into the software, like I'm using with Ableton, or whether it's a piece of MIDI hardware. Now that I've looked at the help for Make Note, I can start interacting with it a little bit. If I don't want to look at help, of course, I can also just hover over the inlets and outlets of my object, and Max will give me a quick explanation, not as detailed as help, onto what they do. The top of an object contains inlets. These take in information or signals from another object, so this inlet will receive a number for pitch, a MIDI number. This inlet will receive information for velocity, and this inlet will receive information for duration. And again, help for the object will always explain in more detail what these do. The outlets output information. And so this output sends out velocity information. This outlet outputs pitch information. Whenever we're looking at an object in Max, we can always just hover over these inlets and we'll get a short description of what they do. If we ever want that longer description, we'll just go back to help. So I'm getting a little itchy to make some sounds here. So I'm going to press N and make another object. I'm going to make note out. This will send my MIDI information out to an instrument and I'm going to connect the information from make note to note out. I'm going to connect my pitch outlet from this outlet into the inlet of note out. And we can see that note out is looking for pitch in this inlet. Here, it's looking for velocity. And so I'm going to drag a patch chord, a little chord from the outlet of make note that sends out velocity to the inlet of note out that takes in velocity. This inlet wants a MIDI channel. Since I'm working in Ableton, I don't need that information. Now I need to get some data into Make Note to actually create pitches. To do that, I'm going to use a different object called Number. 
number displays and outputs numbers. And you can see once I type in the number object, I get this lovely little uh, guy here. We can see that number has some outlets here. It says that it will output an incoming or entered number. Here it will bang when the tab key is pressed. Well, great, I don't really care that much about that. But I do want to send numbers into my make note. So I'm going to copy and paste a couple extra number objects. And I'm going to drag each of these so that they're outputting their numbers into make note. Now I have three number objects that are ready to send information to make note, which will in turn send it to note out so that we can create some sounds. To actually send numbers, I need to lock my patch. When my patch is unlocked, I can work with it, but I can click this little lock or I can just command click my screen to unlock and lock my patch. Once my pot patch is locked, I can start using it, and so I'm going to send some data. This inlet wants my time in milliseconds, so I'll send the number 1000 to say that I want a note that's at one second long. Here, the loudness, I'll send a velocity of 60, and here I'll send my MIDI pitch number. And Max plays a pitch, MIDI number 60, that's a C natural, uh, uh, with a velocity of 60, kind of a medium uh, dynamic, for one second. I've used MakeNote, I put all my information into MakeNote, and once it got that information, uh, it sent out all the notes. All I had to do was type in the numbers into my objects and press enter to lock them in. So I have now made my first sound. Congratulations to me, pretty exciting. I wanna make my patch a little bit more friendly for me to use, and so I'm gonna add a couple extra features. First, I'm gonna make some comments to remind me of what these different things do. If I type the letter C, that will bring up a comment. Comment is just allows me to add notes to my patch. And so it lets me type in things that remind me of what all my stuff does. For example, I'm just gonna put a comment next to this first number to remind me that that's where my pitch number lives. And I can drag it and make it a little bit smaller so that uh, it doesn't overlap with everything. I'm gonna make another comment that will remind me that my middle number is where my velocity lives. So that way I can remember this if I ever to come, have to come back to the patch. And finally, I can copy and paste, make, get my third comment here, my duration in milliseconds is what my third number is. Whenever I'm building a patch, I like to remember how everything works, and so I like to keep adding these comments in. I can also make another uh, max object. This is called the bang, a bang. I'm gonna give it the name there. To make a bang, all you have to do is press B in Max MSP. A bang is basically a, uh, a, a go button. When you press the bang, it tells something to happen. It sends the data. I took my bang and I dragged the, the, the patch cord from the outlet of bang to the inlet of my pitch number. Now, anytime I bang, I'll get my pitch. All I have to do is press the bang it'll tell this number object to send its number out through the patch cord and into make note. And once make note gets the number, it'll send it into note out to create sound. Bang is a really common object. Again, bang, all it does is tell something to happen. I'm gonna make one more object and uh, after that we'll be done with uh, this first basic patch. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room at the top of the screen, right? Uh, I get really tired of pressing bang Every time I want to hear a note, it really wears me out. And so I'd like to make Max do a little bit more work for me. And so I'm going to create one other new object that I like that sends information called Metro. Metro is like a metronome. You can see the description here. It says, output a bang message at regular intervals. Metro is a cool object. We'll take a quick look at its help here. Metro sends information out, sends bangs out regularly, and you can see in the help patch that Metro has what they call arguments. Arguments are information that follows the name of the object. Here, the argument is a number, 500, which it says is the interval, the interval in milliseconds at which these outputs are banged. And so I can set up a number for Metro. I'll set 1000 every second. This means that my Metro's current default setting is going to be to send a bang every 1000 milliseconds or every one second. Here is where the ticks of the metronome, the bangs are output. I'm going to drag them into my bang and I'm going to look at the top of Metro here. It has two inlets. The first inlet sets the time interval for Metro, how frequently it sets bangs. I start with a default of 1000, but if I wanted to change it, I could create a number object and drag that into the inlet of Metro here. Here, 
Metro wants information to start and stop. And so to do that, I need to create one last uh, piece of Max information, which is a toggle. I press the button T to create a toggle. A toggle is basically an on-off switch, okay? A bang is sort of a one-time information thing, right? Bang only has one language. That language is go, do a thing. Toggle has two things it can say. It can say turn on or turn off. When I press my toggle, it starts outputting bangs, and you can see it's outputting bangs, and you can hear that annoying sine wave that I'm playing. Let's turn the sound down on that one so we don't have to hear it. Here, my, my metro is banging every one second. When I press the toggle again, it turns off. It stops sending those bangs. Metro is going to be nice for me to automate my information here. Metro is a useful tool. Just keep makes it so that I don't have to press bang every time I want something to happen. This is the end of our video for today. In this video, we built a really, really basic Max MSP patch. In, this, in, in doing so, we learned about some of the basic things. We learned about objects. Max is built of all these little objects, and we can connect them as we've done here to create musical instruments, to create processes, to create things that help us uh, generate and alter and affect sound. All of those objects have inlets and outlets. Inlets receive information and outlets send out information. And we remember all we have to do is hover over those outlets to get a basic idea of what they do. When in doubt, we want to use help. Max help is super great for helping us to look up what's going on. Help will always give us lots of information about whatever our object is. It'll give us a detailed talk and it'll give us a functional patch that we can look at and model our, uh, our own work after to work with. We also learned about some of the basic tools of Max. The bang, shortcut, just press the letter B to create one, which says go, send your information, do your thing, a sort of one-way trip. We learned about the toggle, shortcut T, which is kind of an on-off switch for objects that have on-off settings like Metro, one of a cool object there. And of course, we learned about comments, C, which I'm typing in right now, I'm typing comments right now. Creating a comment allows you to add notes to your patch, which is really useful in keeping track of what all those numbers and what all that information is supposed to do. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.